Good evening and salutations, my YNR fans. Um, Elena annoyed me in this episode. She comes across as a damn hypocrite. Now, yeah, she's upset that Nate cheated on her. But not that long ago, you did the exact same thing to Nate. So coming to his face, throwing water on him like you're, tw like you're some 12-year-old child... And then start talking about how he was this, he was that, I defended you, yada, yada, yada. First of all, boo, you knew exactly who you were dealing with. You knew exactly who you were dealing with. This is the same guy who was literally going to portray his family and the company that he was in because he felt like he was ignored. Boo hoo, but you still decide to go out with him. And you have the audacity. One second. You have the audacity to sit there and say, well, I trust, like, I trusted you and I believed in you. How do you believe somebody? If My whole thing is, if somebody shows you who they are, believe them. This dude has been showing you who he is from day one. On top of the fact that, again, I want to sit there and remind you that you cheated on him and you also cheated on Devon to be with him. So this whole scene of her, you know, this whole you go girl crap, which is just literally that crap. Um, you know, sometimes, it, well, not sometimes, it's very difficult to sit there and watch some scenes with Ashley. You know, Ashley and her constant whining about Diane and Diane is this and Diane is that. Blah, 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 blah. After a while, it's just like, ugh, okay, like. Seriously? One sec. Jack must have paid a pretty hefty price to get Diane out of jail. Um, you know, because he was talking to somebody, I guess his money man or his money woman, maybe. And he was like, yeah, I know it's high, but you know, listen, I need this this whole thing done. Meanwhile, you got Michael telling um, Diane that, you know, I can possibly get you out of, out of this, you know, get you um, on bail. Saying something about the last judge had this whole thing, like this whole bias against bail and stuff like that, and pretty much kind of got him removed. And long story short, he was able to get her released. Now, of course, again, Ashley is not happy that, you know, Jack is, is trying to get her bail and the whole whining and blah, 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 blah. Like, he, he just knows at the while and they start to hit the same, the same tones. It's just like... Yeah, let me guess. You're annoyed that, about Diane. You're annoyed that he's, you know, he's trying to get Diane freed. And this is, you know, now Summer. <laughs> you know, somebody asked me yesterday, who is more annoying? I, I forgot this woman's last name, Summer on YNR, or Spencer Cassidine on General Hospital. Spencer is still pretty damn annoying, but uh, Summer... <laughs> Oh, it's like she is literally sitting there trying to take the crown or the tiara. Whatever you want to sit there and call it. Um, you know, after she tells Daniel that Phyllis is alive, Daniel's like, he's upset that Phyllis put them through all that. Summer is bending over backwards like there's no tomorrow trying to make up all sorts of excuses. It was Jeremy's fault. You know, Jeremy manipulated her and, you know, she was back into a coin. I'm sitting there looking at her like, wow, bro, you are really using that mental gymnastics, aren't you, to try to defend Phyllis's actions. And then sitting there saying, well, Diane has been sitting there trying to steal her life. Steal her life? Bro, what are you, 12? I don't understand this whole... And the sad thing is that the people that don't that like that don't like Diane will constantly say the same BS. She's trying to steal her life. That's not a real thing, by the way. I just want to let people know, even if you don't like Diane, that's not a real thing. You can't steal someone's life. That's not how that works. Phyllis can screw up her life to the point where Diane wants what she wants, and if she wants Jack and everything like that, then she's going to get him. But you can't steal somebody else's life. That's not how that works. Phyllis is an idiot that doesn't take responsibility for her own action. And the people that are super fans of Phyllis will sit there and back that notion because, you know, when in doubt, let's throw logic and common sense out the window. 
Um, so she talks about that. And then, you know, when Daniel's like, we can't let her go to jail for something she didn't do. Well, she's far from innocent. Where it's like the most nauseating scene when you sit there and watch it. It's just a true nauseating scene watching Summer Smith. They say, Well, she's done this and she's done that and she should pay for her crimes and blah 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 blah. And I'm like, But you do realize that your idiot of a mother has done bad things also, right? And she's like, Well, of course, you're not gonna let her stay in there for long. We just, you know, I'm like, Bro, you know, you could avoid this whole thing by just not saying anything. But you're not as strong as you like to sit there and pretend that you are, um, Supergirl. Um, so, you know, Daniel's like, you know, he needs some space. And she was like, well, where are you, you know, where are you going? Where are you going? And she's like yelling. And I had to sit there and lower down the TV because I was like, well, I can't sit there and listen to the high pitched nonsense that you are just spewing out. Um... Tucker is there trying to make inroads with Devon and he comes over there and he has an idea for a music festival and um uh, what's his name? Neil's honor. And she's like and he's like, nah, I'm good on that. But um he does invite her to he does invite him to the event. And Tucker does sit there and say that he is moving in with Ashley. And Devon's like well, how does Abby feel about that? Um, Ashley's a grown ass woman. The, the, the hell do you mean? How does Abby feel about that? <laughs> like, oh well, she's if she's mad about that, then then it's a no go. You do understand who's the parent and who's the child, right? He does sit there when he does meet Ashley. You know, Ashley was not there whining about Diane as usual. Um. You know, Tucker does sit there and say, I kind of blurted out about, you know, the, um, the Vaughn about me moving in. And she's like, oh, well, why would you do that for? I'm like, Ashley, you act like she was not going to find out at some point anyway. Like, when was you, when was you planning on Snit there telling her? I... Um, Jack is happy. Diane was able to come home. She's under house arrest. Diane does sit there and say Summer's not going to be happy. Well, you know, Summer can sit there and get over it. Maybe she can. Maybe she can sit there and use this experience as a as a as a um way to way to learn and grow. Because that chick acts so so young and so immature in so many ways. And whenever she talks, it just makes me think: What is her position at work? How does she get that position, by the way? Because she doesn't look like she's smart enough to sit there and handle whatever position at that job that she so-called has. Um, well, it's a good thing for nepotism, right? Yeah, I feel like that's about it. I can't think of really anything else to happen, but I will be sitting there doing a live stream tonight. So come through, I'm gonna be sitting there talking about them all. YNR, BNB, Days, and GH. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Um, I'm only going to be streaming for an hour tonight because I got to wake up super early. But we're, we're, we're going to get it in. Tonight, tomorrow, you know how we do. So, yes, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.